I'm Lawrence Edwards from Black Mountain Honey. Welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Beekeeping. Today I'm going to show you once again how I paint my polyhives. I've got 100 Swienti 14 by 12 brood boxes and I'm going to be painting them with these four colours, grey, brown, black and green. I do a bit of a camouflage mix. Um, I try and do it as quick as I possibly can so I use two cans at a time. We'll put up a bit of a hyperlapse, show you how long it takes and then we'll talk a little bit about why we use the spray paint and why we use the camouflage. Right, so we're all done. Took me about an hour and a half to do 100 boxes. I forgot to put gloves in the truck, so I had to do it without gloves, and I've got quite a lot of paint on my hands, so I'll give them a good scrub when I get home. The reason I do it is because I want to have a very distinctive look for my hives. Like I say, an hour and a half to do 100 boxes is just under kind of a minute per box. Um, but what it ends up with is a really solid shell where the, the oil-based spray paint reacts with the poly, and then it kind of um, creates a really strong shell around the poly so I found that it, it never deteriorates unlike maybe a water-based paint would uh, but it gives my hives a very distinctive look as well so kind of I always know which hives are mine Now that might sound a little bit silly and it's not like we share a lot of the apiaries um, but it's just it's kind of a bit of a theft an um, anti-theft measure it'd be very very difficult to someone to pass these hives off as their own um, and obviously you know what I mean we know thieves they can just take the frames out or burn everything else and just take the bees but you just want to make it as difficult for them as possible. The other one is that obviously the kind of camouflage look really detracts from any um, unwanted attention as well so I try and keep my apiaries always as far out of the way as possible they're always kind of like hidden in woods and difficult places to find but then they're quite difficult to see so unless you actually knew they were there you probably wouldn't kind of um, they wouldn't catch your eye as you walk past them. Um, so that's it for today's video again I would, I would say it was a quick video, it wasn't, it's taken me kind of nearly a couple of hours to get all of this done and set up, I need to go and wash as well, um, but I hope you're enjoying the videos, like this one here, it's just kind of giving you a flavour of what I kind of get up to over the weekend, a couple of hours, paint up a, a hundred brood boxes, get them ready for the season, and uh, just a little video to show you kind of how I do that. So I hope you're enjoying the videos, please hit the subscribe button, please hit the bell so you're notified every time a new video comes up. If you've got any questions or comments or um, proposals for any product reviews, please let me know and I'll see you next time.